to connect Pixel 10 Pro into your car system, then first of all, we have to make sure about few things. So on the Pixel 10 Pro, go into the Google Play Store and you have to search for Android Auto. And now just make sure that you are using the latest version. If there is the update button, you have to make sure that you have updated this, this application to the latest version. Now you will have to go into the settings, go to the connected devices and go to the connection preferences, open Bluetooth and make sure that you have turn on Bluetooth on your Pixel. And now you will have to go into the system of your car and also we have to make sure that you have turn on Bluetooth to let connect your phone. Now on your Pixel 10 Pro, go to the connected devices, go to the connection preferences and you have to scroll for Android Auto connection just like this and now click to connect a vehicle. And as you can see, we got two options, the wired one and the wireless one. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can do this wirelessly. So click below and now if you've got, uh... so as I said before, you have to actually enter for the Bluetooth mode on your car. And now on the Pixel 10 Pro, select connect using a Bluetooth and click to pair a vehicle. And now after a few seconds in your car, you should actually get some kind of the notification. But if it doesn't appear, you will have to click to pair new device because you will be redirected into the Bluetooth settings and you have to select the name of your car. So in my case, that's the Cupra car. So I have to just tap on it once. And if I'm going to receive that incoming request, on my car, I have to select yes, and I have to do the same on the Pixel 10 Pro. I have to accept the pairing request. And after a few seconds, as you can see, we should be connected, but we have to also grant some permissions, just like this. Just click OK on everything that will pop up on your screen, and you should be successfully connected. And when you are connected, uh, you, you should get click continue accept permission for all of your contacts, phone calls, messages, and stuff like this. And right now, when you click on the Android Auto icon in your car, you should be connected. You can use all of those applications like Google Maps, phone calls, music, and stuff like this.